Yo guys, welcome to DirectX vs AMD Mantle with Star Swarm. It's a benchmark from the Oxide games. Uh, all these notes are referred for the day 2 of February 2014. Well, that's because uh, Mantle is on beta and I'm pretty sure that a lot of updates are coming. Uh, it's running on DirectX because F MSI Afterburner couldn't record in, in Mantle because it didn't recognize it yet. But I'm pretty sure they will release something later. So, groundbreaking ground features about Mantle. So, much less overhead comparing to, to DirectX. And uh, a massive boost. So, this overhead uh, that is much less than DirectX uh, uh, makes the CPU much more uh, efficient processing things. And things seem much more lightweight uh, comparing to DirectX. So, I have a boost of 100% or even more in this... Uh, in this benchmark, but uh, remember guys, this benchmark is very CPU bound. So, first things first. Uh, what is wrong with DirectX for Mantle have such a great improvement? Well, what is really wrong on DirectX is the patches, counts and things like that. For example, when you have a lot of patches, uh, DirectX will, have, will cause a very big overhead and starts to bottleneck the GPU. So, Mantle can process batches much more easily and that is the time when you ask what the hell is a batch? A batch is a, a thing that usually is on screen that couldn't represent for example one ship is not equal to one batch actually one ship could, could uh, represent five uh, or ten batches for example those shots over there they are batches all of these are batches and DirectX usually those shit that uh, consoles, for example, Xbox uh, or a PS4, their app APIs are especially programmed by low level and they have much much less overhead, and so they can process much more batches than DirectX. Uh, one thing, for example, Mantle is uh, actually exclusive for a GCN architecture for a, from AMD, which is actually HD 7000, HD 8000. HD uh, 7000 and 8000 mobility and the X series all of these graphic cards will support um, Mantle in the meantime but let's see the bits. let's see the results right let's see the results so let's switch to my messy desktop and as you can see here that is on my left the DirectX uh, results uh, I need to remind you that the benchmark is very random so all the all the way that this processor is very different. This was on the follow benchmark, and I get it like uh, 26 uh, frame rate. Uh, I have this uh, average of batch per milliseconds and batch count. As you can see, uh, batch count is more or less the same. But what is impressive is the the strong thing that we see. The average uh, batches per millisecond it's much more higher on Mantle and. That is what caused a great improvement in performance. You can check on, on all this text. Uh, these this, uh, TXTs are made by the benchmark. Every time you end the benchmark, uh, the benchmark gives you this file for you to save if you choose that option. And so I did save it all for, uh, for showing you. the RTS watch uh, that benchmark that we saw we have a great improvement in here still it's not a playable frame rate but it's actually a great improvement Returning to the benchmark. So, what can I tell about uh, AMD Mantle? Uh, you're gonna need AMD Catalyst 14.1 beta for you to to have the Mantle activated for this benchmark. Uh, let's see more. Battlefield 4 already support Mantle, but not uh, 100%. Uh, only AMD R9 290s, uh, R7 260s, 
and the Kaveri APUs are supporting 100% uh, uh, mantle. Uh, actually, if you don't have uh, any of the graphic cards, you can activate mantle anyway, but you're gonna suffer from some performance uh, uh, problems, for example, stunt ring from 10 seconds to 10 seconds, for example. You're gonna suffer uh, VRAM uh, leakage. You're gonna see that your VRAM will just it's it's just getting full and full until it crash or or get a massive zone downs uh let me see more but anyway i tried battlefield 4 without uh, without mantle and with mantle on the on a map that uh, where is a dam and i remember that when i played that map and i was uh, on the b flag and looking to the c flag i had for example 40 frames per second and that was a bottleneck uh, from the CP and uh, with Mantle I, I'm actually getting 60 uh, close to that 60s uh, 65 uh, 55 it's great but don't worry if you if you have already the Catalyst 14.1 uh, and you have uh, an AG 7000 or any supported graphic card for Mantle you can test this uh, Star Swarm with no problems so non problems uh, for now related to Mantle. So Mantle have problems right now with uh, Crossfire. Uh, people already claim that there are a massive improvement in frame rate, but uh, it stutters like hell. Uh, there is problem with uh, AMD i Infinite and actually mobility series uh, from laptops are currently not supported, but don't worry guys, it will come there. There is no problem at all with it. Uh, you just need to wait a little longer, like I do, and that is why uh, I'm not releasing right now Battlefield 4 uh, Mantle benchmark, because uh, I think it's better to wait for uh, mature drivers and working 100% instead of testing, uh, well, a driver that is not actually working well. And I s and I'm already saying it and confirmed that it's not working. Well. So for you to, to think that I'm not bullshitting, bullshitting you, I'm gonna show you that I, I even record this with my cell phone, uh, making myself a, a stupid, a stupid figure, figure, whatever. So if you have any doubt about Mantle, oh by the way, one thing more. Uh, people are claiming that Mantle doesn't improve performance, and for many cases that's right. If you have a very good CPU and a mid-range uh, graphic card. So imagine that you don't have any bottleneck on your system, that uh, your CPU could deliver all the full potential to the GPU with no problems. Well, in that case, Mantle will not greatly improve. But if you have a case like me, that I have a Phantom 2, a 4 years uh, processor, 4 year old processor, and a new graphic card, and I have 10% bottleneck in most of the cases, well, in, the, in that case, guy, you, you surely gonna receive a great improvement. And I hope this will be standard for NVIDIA and Intel. For many devel developers, uh, a, mo a bunch of developers pick up this and give us this great AMD API for everyone. Alright? So enjoy the rest of the video. And if you want to see later that Battlefield 4 Direct DirectX and Mantle benchmark, remember, subscribe to keep on pair with it. Alright, so see you later in another video. Thank you a lot for watching.